Oh, hello there. Welcome to What I Watched This Week, where I talk about what I watched this week. For the first episode, we will be covering the week of October 11th through the 17th of 2015. Let's begin, friends. On Sunday evening, I watched Shaun of the Dead, a movie I have watched and enjoyed many times over the years. It was actually the second time I watched it that weekend. That's how good it is. And even on the second viewing in 24 hours, there are still jokes I caught for the very first time ever. The genius of the movie is in the details, with clever foreshadowing used through repetition of dialogue and shots near the beginning of the movie and at the end of the movie. This is surely a movie that will go down as a true classic of our age. And as a last note, I did not remember it being so gory when that guy gets pulled out the window and ripped to complete shreds. It's a great Halloween movie. And then on Sunday evening, I watched Cabin in the Woods. This is a movie I have watched about three times now since it came out in 2012. And it is enjoyable from beginning to end, which is probably why I like it so much, because entertainment factor is a big deal to me. In fact, it is my second favorite horror movie after John Carpenter's The Thing. And also, I feel it's really easy to get sucked into the story because most of the actors are unknowns, other than Chris Hemsworth, who was unknown at the time of shooting, but I think everyone should check this out for Halloween because it will please both horror freaks and horror haters at the same time. However, I don't have as nice of things to say about what I watched Monday, which was The Gallows. This is a movie that came out in May, I think, in theaters? I don't know. I don't do research for these videos. Regardless, the scares are very, very cheap, and the monster slash killer guy is just not very frightening. But I will say to the movie's credit that for this kind of movie, the acting is above par, I did like them, and the setup and payoff for the different plot points and twists were actually pretty decent, and I enjoyed them and they were a lot better than the scares for this movie. Though, I don't know why it's rated R, there was nothing in there that I felt was R at all, maybe some language, I didn't catch it, but it felt very PG-13, like this year's Poltergeist remake. I've been making my girlfriend watch all the Marvel Universe movies so that she can better understand Avengers Age Voltron. We just finished Captain America, the first Avenger, on Tuesday and Wednesday. And my main takeaway from it, being that I've been a while since I've seen it, is that it very nicely sets up the sequel, Winter Soldier. Mostly in that, when asked why he wants to fight the Nazis, Captain America replies that he just doesn't like bullies. It very nicely sets up his rebellious ways from Winter Soldier. Also, there's a very nice chemistry and relationship between Bucky and Captain America through small portions of the movie that nicely set up the main conflict, spoiler warning, for Winter Soldier. And there's probably other reasons, but I don't quite remember them because I'm an 89 year old man. And then on Thursday I watched Her for the first time, a movie that was a strong critical success back in 2013, but I never got a chance to watch because it's senior year of high school in 2013. We ought to say it was well worth the wait, mostly because it struck a chord with no pun intended, because there was no pun there. But anyways, this movie has a lot of emotional highs and lows, so much so that it almost gave me motion sickness. And it has an abnormally strong female cast, which I really like seeing in this movie. And overall, I really liked it. It's really relevant to talk about it again in 2015 because of the strong critical success of Ex Machina, which deals with a very similar topic and theme. And I really liked her a lot more. I thought it was more optimistic. I liked the optimistic view a lot more than the pessimistic view of X Machina. Well, that was my last movie for the week, and that's all the movies I watched in October 11th to the 17th of 2015. Thank you so much for watching. Can you stop being such a model, please? <laughs>